Continuing on from part ones, is too much protein bad for you? Hi, this is Mimi. In this video, I am going to show you how to make this easy four ingredient strawberry cake whey protein waffle with an OD on bananas and strawberries and the secret to fluffy non-rubbery waffles. And the same rule also applies to pancakes, of course. The four ingredients are BPI Strawberry Cake Whey HD, a ripe banana, four eggs, you can use one or two whole eggs, and half a cup of oats. And the toppings are natural peanut butter, I'm using white chocolate peanut butter and natural peanut butter, and strawberries and bananas. These strawberry cake protein waffles are amazing, as you will see me eat and enjoy in part three. Now don't forget you can get 20% off BPI Strawberry Cake Whey or any of their other products if you use my code MIMI. Go to bit.ly slash eat not die at BPI and the info will be in the description below. The ingredients for the waffles are also in the description below. And just one more thing before I show the video, looking back at it, I'm not sure why I blended one ingredient at a time because now I just put everything in the blender and blend it. All right, let's make some protein waffles. I use four ingredients. Jumbo eggs, um, these help keep all the ingredients stuck together. Something for moisture, I preferably like bananas, and I have these on my wine rack. Or you can use cottage cheese if you'd like. Um, something to have it rise, so I like to use oatmeal. I have about almost half a cup, or you could use almond flour, wheat flour. And of course, for it to be protein waffles, it does need protein. So this one is going to be BPI strawberry cake flavor. And I am going to be topping this with bananas and strawberry and white chocolate peanut butter. So here we go. I like to have one whole egg yolk or one whole egg with the yolk and three egg whites. I usually use one whole egg yolk um, and three egg whites, but sometimes I put two whole eggs in there. Um, I put egg here. And ideally, your bananas should not look like mine. They should be very ripe and moist. So I'm gonna take the most ripe looking one, which is this one. Oh man, has a little bit of browning on there. Anyways, I'm gonna throw that in there. And then I like to at least start off with the two first two ingredients. Mash. Mash just because it's banana. Frappe. All right, that's good enough. Now about a little close to half a cup of oatmeal for it to be fluffy. That is the trick to have, I think it's like, your batter not be more than one fourth away, otherwise you can get flat pancakes or waffles. Okay, now for the flavoring. Strawberry cake, ooh. One scoop there. And that's about 25 grams of protein. Along with the eggs, it's gonna be a good amount. Sometimes if things get stuck in there, I like to use my spoon and just move it around. Okay, that is more than enough. Now, I set this on pretty toasty. And olive oil spray. And Oh yeah. I love this machine, it makes it so easy. Turn it around, and you just wait. And in the meantime, I'm gonna cheat and make a very quick and easy burger and use a pre-made sauce, black pepper sauce. Take some of this and just... <laughs> That's it. I'm just gonna mix it. Ooh, and it's ready. Okay. When I put a lot of batter, sometimes it really just poofs out, so I gotta be careful with the steam. Mm, not that much today. And super fluffy. Give you a close up of that to show you. It's 
pretty fluffy to me. And now for the rest. Well, I'm gonna get about one and a half pancakes today. Ooh, and it's ready. Maybe not. Doesn't look ready to me, no. And meanwhile, I'm making an easy burger right over there. All right, this one <laughs> came out really ugly looking. But it's okay. It's all about how it tastes. Just cut up this bowl of banana and strawberries that I'm going to pour all over this. Oh yeah, oh my God. <laughs> It's like majorly uh, covering the whole thing. Oh yeah. Doesn't even look like waffles anymore. It literally looks like a fruit dish. <laughs> okay, maybe I did a little too much. Anyways. All right, and then I'll top this with one strawberry here. And then the peanut butter. I got Nuts and more, white chocolate, and uh, organic, natural peanut butter. So take a whole spoon here. Drizzle, come on. It's not really drizzling, probably because it's the bottom of the container. White chocolate, yeah. This looks amazing. I can't wait to eat it. Check it out. I'll take a picture, but. <laughs> I was just gonna turn off the videotape, but I realized I didn't eat in my last video, so I'm gonna leave it on. If you don't wanna watch me eat, the rest of the video is gonna be watching me eat. <laughs> so uh, hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. I actually decided to make the eating portion part three, so click my link above or check out my description below if you wanna watch me eat and talk. I feel like it's a long version of Snapchat, which I need to get myself on by the way. So this was my first cooking video. My next one will be an authentic Chinese chicken dish. But let me know what you guys think because these videos are for you. I mean, was it too long? Would you rather me be more straightforward and just be like, here are the ingredients and here's how you make it? Please don't forget to subscribe, stay tuned, and thanks for watching.